Good morning, everyone. Record here. Record runs DC Universe Online. Coming at you this morning with a brand new video. A little how to, what to do after you use your new free combat rating skip to 290. What to do with your. You've hit 290, now what? So, I'm going to jump right into it. The first thing I would suggest for you to do is to choose a role. Don't, this free armor you're getting, don't just dump it into the DPS role. Go ahead and choose a role. Every mission you do anyways, you're going to get new armor, so you can always get DPS armor. You, you really need to learn your role anyways. The best way to learn your role is to do it. As you're doing these daily missions, some of them it may make, take you a little bit longer, but you're, you'll be learning, and in the long run, it'll really benefit you and make you a better player. So choose a role. I went ahead and made a new guy and chose a role. I like being a tank, so I choose that. chose to be a tank. With this guy, you choose whatever works best for you. When you start and open up that box, a little tip that'll help you if you're not sure about which weapon you want, before you open up your the box they give you with the armor in it, put a skill point in more than one weapon, and it will give you more than one weapon in your box. For example, I had a skill point in brawling, which he has on, and then I had a skill point in my pistol. So I have those pistols there that I they gave me an extra weapon. So if you're not sure about your weapon, go ahead and do that. But once you open that box, equip it, choose a roll, number one. Uh, I pick tank. Whatever one works best for you, pick it. And it. That's the easiest way to advance and move forward in this game is by choosing a roll. The, the woods are full of DPSs, and yes, DPSs are important. We all should learn to do some damage. But they're easy to find by me saying the woods are full of them. There are a lot of people that play DPS. If you want to be successful in this game and have instantly get into groups where they, to be honest, a lot of times they'll look over your uh, combat rating and your skill points simply because you're a role player and it's hard to find role players and they'll want to get you in the, to put you into a group and you'll get opportunities you may not would get as a DPS simply because you're playing what's called a support role. In the support role, we they hold the group up. Not Again, I'm not minimalizing the damage role's important. Yes, it's important. But I'm telling you the smoothest way and the best thing to do once you get that combat rating CR skip, I'm giving you tips on the, the best way to improve and to move forward. And this is one of the best tips I can give you. So once you decide to pick your row, make sure when you put those augments on, I'm not going to go through it. And when you pick your uh, artifact, make sure you pick one that's specific to your row, one that sounds like something that you would like. It's not that big a deal if you don't pick one that you end up liking because they're very easy to get. They don't cost too much to get anymore. They've really simplified how you can get them. So just pick one, that, read the descriptions, I would encourage you to, and then pick one that you think fits your playstyle. Now, when you do your augments, make sure when you put them on, uh, you want to go with your role. If it's a healer, you want to go restoration. If it's a controller, you want to go vitalization. If it's a tank, you want to go dominance. Now, they give you the golden exabytes to level them up. Make sure that you level up those uh, origin augments so that you can be more viable and just make you stronger that way you won't be a detriment to groups you some folks still struggle just a little bit even though they're giving you tools here that'll help you with this armor so you might as well use all the tools that they're giving you by doing this you're going to strengthen your character make your character play its role better and make your character be more successful which will make the group be successful and make it be more fun for you so so number one thing is choose a role make sure that the augments and the artifacts you get are working towards that go now a after you choose a role make sure where you allocate your stat points that you're given if you have chosen to be a tank like I have, make sure when you go, it doesn't matter that you only have 90 skill points. When you go into your movement mode, no matter what of the four roles, you need to do this. 
go down and get the restraint resistance and the stun resistance. Those are 10% stun resistance, 10% in case and root resistance. Not many tanks run a group breakout anymore. You need to be able to break yourself out and be able to have more resistance to in cases and root and being rooted in place and stuns, things that bosses are going to do to you in this game. These are very important no matter what role you play to get. So make sure, and even though we only have 90, which I have 91, <laughs> I have to unlock the feet, or excuse me, then unlock one, earn the feet, messing around this guy. But uh, even though you only have 90, go ahead and spend four to get right there. Now, weapon, I chose to be a tank no matter what role you choose to be. You need a, a weapon that can regenerate your own power for a tank you need one that with a quick lunge with this guy I'm using brawling just to go with the eye count like look and because it has a quick lunge make sure I get me a combo in there that I can build power with and as I say this has a really fast lunge you see it probably has the fastest lunge in the game or at least just as fast as any really like that and you really need that as a tank so make sure when you you choose your weapon that you can regen some power and that you can get a, a quick lunge with if you're a tank all right and then now once you got your weapon you pick your loadout i'd encourage you to do your own research but then i would also encourage you to read the powers and just try stuff out for yourself that'd be the best way for you to learn for you to test everything for yourself but once you pick a role now the first thing you need to do every day is do the end game content daily whoever came up with the idea at the dc universe office DC Universe Online Office to, to implement the event version so everyone can play. The new end game content deserves a raise and they're doing a great job. By doing this, you're putting the new players into a huge player pool. Now they're not looking for people to play with. And by going and doing the end game content, you're like, well, Wrecker, how do I get to the end game content? Go to your map, warp menu. Go down, 31st Century Earth is the, the newest episode that's out. That's the newest end game content. So I'm going to go there every day, first thing. By going there every day, I'm going to get armor that's going to, almost daily, sometimes almost by the mission as you're leveling up, it's going to improve your combat rating. So number one, choose a role. Number two, make sure you're doing the end game content every day so that you can advance your character. All this gear you get here is going to give you green numbers every day that's going to be improving your character and moving your, your guy forward. Now, after you do this in-game content, then go do whatever is relevant to your combat rating. And it's very easy to see. Just go to your journal. Go by combat rating. Do the highest ones first and work your way down. It's one, one of the cool things about making a character. Now, so number one, choose your role if you do use your free CR290 skip. Number two, make sure you're doing in-game content every day and then the content that's relevant to your combat rating. You'll move forward daily. with. It's very easy to improve your combat rating now simply because this event, like I said, whoever came up with doing this, which they've been doing it for a while now, should get a raise because this is easy to improve your character, move it forward, and you got people to play with instantly. Number three thing you need to do is you need to start your feet grind. And you know, I know that it even sounds bad for some people. Grind, well, it's just playing the game. I mean, some stuff is grindy you do over and over to earn the feet. But a lot of things are just simple. Uh, exploration, just falling all, flying all around uh, Metropolis, uh, dueling feats, getting somebody to duel with you, uh, just so that you can fight them face to face. Just do it. Running missions every day, daily, will help you to improve your combat rating, and that'll help move your character forward and help improve your skill points. That's what I'm talking about. Is your skill points. So make sure you start on that feet grind. And one of the easiest way to feet grind is when you start a mission, go ahead and look in the feet menu and see if there's any feats associated with that mission. If there is, go ahead and work towards that one. If it's a mission you know you're going to have to run multiple times, you don't have to worry about doing it the first time. 
but make sure that you're cognizant that you know what feats are in there so that you can work on them. Those feats add up and those skill points make a huge difference in your character. If anything else, besides the, how it strengthens your character, a lot of people, this is the way it is, It's people hate on this game and say, oh, this is a toxic community. It's just a reflection of society. People are going to judge you based on how you look, based on your stats, your height, weight, your build. Same way on this game. So if you can get as many skill points as possible, you get a lot less ridicule, and it'll just make your character stronger. Plus, you're having fun. You're brand new. You just got to instantly, you went from 0 to 290. Um, you got an instant uh, boost. Speaking of which, if you notice, when I, you come into the end game content, you get a boost up to that level. And, hey, that's three really good tips I can give you. Make sure you choose a row. Make sure you're doing the end game content every day and start a feat grind. That's the bet. Three tips so you're using your combat rating 290 skip. I'm going to jump in here and show you. Uh, go hit these people in the mouth a little bit. Uh, but I just want to thank you for watching. I hope this helps you. I've got how to videos on my channel, uh, uh, other tips that'll help you uh, to improve your character and to move forward. If you, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm going to start doing more videos for people that haven't ever played the game like this one. So there you go. There's our video on how to use your free combat rating. If you like the video, give me a like. If you haven't subbed yet, give me a sub. I really would appreciate it. If you don't like the video, I've had a, quite a few dislikes. Give me a dislike. Hey, I'm a big boy. Give me a dislike. Let me know why, though, if you're going to give me a dislike. Have some nuts about you and tell me why you don't like it. But hey, uh, I really appreciate the likes. Really appreciate you watching whether you like it or dislike it. And if you would give me a sub, either way, even if you don't sub, hey, God bless you, protect you. I hope, I wish you and your family a great 2020.